One of the best free apps you can get on your Fire Stick or Fire TV is the Air Screen app. This app will let you mirror your iPhone screen onto your Fire TV screen so you can share everything that you can see on your iPhone, including your photos, videos, and any apps that you're currently using. To get the Air Screen app, you can use the Fire Stick keyboard search and then just type the first few letters of it. And here it is in the list. So now we can click on it and download it to our Fire Stick. I've already downloaded it to mine, so I just need to click on it to open it. After opening the app, the first thing I'm going to do is change the device name so that I can easily identify it when I want to pair it with my iPhone. So if we go into settings and click on device name at the top, and I'm going to change it to Tom's Fire TV. And click OK to confirm. And I'll just show you at the bottom here that you can see that this app can also connect to Mac, Android and Windows devices as well as iOS devices such as your iPhone. So now if we click on the start button and then if I go to my iPhone and swipe the screen up from the bottom to get the control center and then tap on screen mirroring and then tap on Tom's Fire TV. And now my iPhone should start mirroring to my Fire TV, which it is, so that's great. And now everything that I do on my iPhone will be displayed on the Fire TV, including photos, videos, and any apps that I'm currently using. So let's go to the Google Maps app and uh, I've just tapped on Snowdonia National Park. You can also rotate your iPhone into the landscape position and so the screen, your iPhone screen will fill your TV screen completely. And here I can zoom in and zoom out and there's very little lag as well with this app so it's really great. And if I want to exit the app, all I need to do is then scroll up to the control center again and then tap on screen mirroring. And then tap on stop mirroring. And here I've got a pop up asking me if I want to try the advanced features or temporarily remove the ads. So let's click on that just to show you. And now click again, click on Purchase Pro. And you can see the difference that with the Pro is basically ad free. And there's not a lot of difference between the Pro and the free other than the Pro is ad free. But I found the free version perfectly okay without having to subscribe for the Pro version. Well, if you like this video, please thumbs it up and subscribe for a lot more tech reviews to come including my next review, which will show you how to save a lot of money by upgrading and improving the performance of your current laptop instead of buying a new one. Thanks for watching.